Hey guys, welcome back to Begin Outdoors. Today we're going to be talking about the heavy recon kit bag. Not the knife on the front, it's actually just permanently attached, so it's going to be here during the review, but eventually we'll talk about that too. Um, so let's get into it. All right, so let's talk about the straps now. Hill People Gear did really well on um, constructing the way that this thing actually straps to your body. It's not like other chest rigs and little things like that that bounce around. This actually stays pretty tight to your body. These two straps right here go over your shoulders, and these ones stay right under your arm by your armpit. And then it's secured to your back with this mesh padding right here. Not padding, but just mesh pocket thing. Um, it's really nice. It's really breathable. I haven't had any issues with sweating with that so far, so that's that's a, a big plus. Um, the whole entire thing comes apart right here at this one buckle, and that's how you get in and out of it. It's a really nice design also because you're not trying to like adjust crazy things back here to get this over and on your body. Um, it can come completely off in the, the top part and the side so that you can attach this directly to a backpack um, on the front right here and then on the bottom so that you can just run this on the shoulder straps without the back straps. Yeah. So let's talk about the mully on the front. So it's laser cut. It's really high quality. Um, I like it a lot. I don't really have a lot of this stuff attached to the outside of this. I used to have a couple of different pens and other things like that, but I just like the, the simplistic look that it has right now. Um, it was easy to attach the big old knife to the front of it because there's just so many different, so many different spots on this, which I really like. They have um, five different um, other mully um, pieces right down here so you can attach anything you want down there has these little I think they're called quick clips I'm not a hundred percent sure but there's two of them down here so you got more versatility in what you want to put on the back there actually is like a little foam insert that goes around this raised part right here and then here's just more um, Cordura it's pretty cool that's the outside of it for the most part it's pretty simple how they put it together um, I like it a lot and now we'll just jump into the, uh, the inside of it. All right. So let's talk about the pockets that we have on the inside of this, uh, bag. I'm going to open it up so you guys can see it the way it would look if it was on your chest. So once you unzip it, um, it holds itself up pretty well at about a 90 degree, um, 90 degree bend. So you're not going to open it up and just everything fall out in front of you on the ground. And you know, that wouldn't be too fun. So the way that they've actually made the zippers not go all the way down and constructed this is actually, um, it's actually pretty smart because you don't need those, um, the ropes going across the keeper from falling all out. Anyways, on the inside of this, we have two pockets that are about five inches across and then about two inches deep, which gives you the space to put, you know, whatever you need in there. I have two Altoid cans and, um, other things behind that. These are a survival and a fishing kit. And then I can fit a first aid kit, which is just simple stuff, burn cream, um, you know, Neosporin, Band-Aids, that simple stuff that you just, you know, in case you get a scrape. Um, on the back of this, I've got a Sawyer mini filter or Sawyer mini straw so that you can um, filter out water. And it fits pretty well inside of this because there's just a lot of different space. Um, there's a whole entire panel of laser cut molly with a, a Velcro kind of velcro kind of uh what is it texture to it so you can put these little velcro straps velcro straps on things that may be falling out a lot um other than that there's not that much inside the pack it's really simple but they do give you a lot of versatility in here to set it up how you want which was pretty cool now i'm going to move to the back panel which is actually a pretty cool panel or a back panel back pocket because the way that hill people gear um, marketed this a tiny bit was kind of being a concealed carry bag for the larger one because it's got the two pockets you have your main pocket for all your little type of survival stuff knives um, but on the back you can carry a full-size pistol so if you leave it unzipped about this much you can just grab onto your chest zip this and then you have hit the stand then you have yourself a full-size pistol or whatever you need in there for the most part, I don't carry a pistol in there. I actually carry um, this right in the rain notepad. I kind of use this cheat sheet with all of my different survival stuff or 
bushcraft or whatever you need to put inside that book it gives you a lot of space back there so you can put something like that in there um which is pretty cool there's a lot of different stuff that you can fit back there pistol you can fit up so you can fit all that stuff inside there but um anyways it's a pretty cool bag um i highly recommend it if all of Hill People Gear's stuff is built to this quality, it is top notch. I don't have any other things um, yet from them to um, review. But if if you guys if you guys are listening, please send me send me all the stuff and I'll review it because I actually really like your uh, your stuff based off of just this one right here and the quality um, that it was. But anyways, I um, I've used this bag a lot of different places and i've used it for probably the last year and a half um if i'm doing night hikes if i'm doing um just a backpacking trip in uh in for like maybe a couple miles or anything like that just finding out that i like carrying all this stuff kind of in a chest rig but less threatening not one that you're carrying into combat just something uh simple and minimalist like this um it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Um, you don't have to have the knife on the front of it. Definitely you don't have to. So you can take that off and it'll just look really, really simple. It won't look as militaristic as this. But it's a nice bag. I highly recommend. I think it's about 130 bucks off of their site. And yeah, it's, it's a nice bag. Highly recommend. Um, thanks for watching, guys.